Hey everybody and welcome back to uh, The Girl of Glass, A Summer Bird's Tale. So, we're restarting the the battle with the businessman slash the vampire lord. Um, and as he telegraphs here at the beginning, watches your friends cry out in pain. So we know he's going to attack this side. Notice that he is also Yes, I know. He has that shield. So let's do just a regular attack. And then let's defend on this side. Just regular defense. No reason to do the special defense. Um. Let's let's go with your corrupted, blinded by greed again. In what position are you to judge me? Do good and you shall be rewarded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've gotten to this before. This time you'll taste my power firsthand. Well, that means we defend on this side. And then we can just attack over here. Oh, my head. So now he's not going to do anything. He still has the shield, though, so... Maybe there's something special we could be doing at this part, but I don't know. Maybe a concentrate. This world would be a better place without you. Humans are lazy by nature. It doesn't give you the right to exploit them. You said something about friends. Um, I've forgotten. I, I clicked through it. We threw it way too quickly. So, um, I think you attack me and not my friends. Yes, okay. When I'm done with you, I'm going to burn this place to the ground. What good will that do? I'm nothing but a player like everyone else. I just happen to be good at the game. I hate the game and I hate the player. The monster you want, I'll be your monster. Watch me torture your friends. Okay, so now we uh, defend on the right side. Why do you project your hatred on me? There are others who sit on their asses and accumulate wealth, etc., etc. I was born poor. I worked hard to build this empire. I deserve everything. Um, but you're immoral because you understand the suffering of the poor, but you keep the poor suffering. And then you uh, tell me this stuff about welfare is actually worse than work. Okay, so... He said something about his head hurting, and so he does nothing. Um, I'm going to go for a concentrate. If I engage in this rational struggle. Um, Well, we'll ask him why he's putting small children to work. Hmm. Um. Okay, so at the end there, he said that adults are too rigid. So I think that means defend on this side, where the adult is. Maybe I shouldn't be speeding through these so quickly. I just don't want to waste your time by reading them all again. There you go. You think this is a fair game? Four against one? Why don't you fight me one on one? Funny way of understanding fairness. So now he brings out his own army. Alright. So these are minions. These palms are mindless minions. They don't share. Of course. Alright, so they don't have uh, the businessmen's 
HP bar. They have their own HP bar. So I did not write down last time the solutions for these. Maybe I should have done something. Let me grab it in here real quick. Um, I know that Crystal hurts this guy pretty well. This guy in the back. Uh, the iron dude. And you hurt, uh, Clown hurts the tree fairly well, but not the fire. I think fire hurts crystal, which is a small problem for me. And then, uh, I think I'm kind of screwed on both sides over here, so I feel like I need to use this bewitching field. But, in order to do that, let's um do this. How do I want to play this? Let's let's guard. Actually, let's guard and um, no, let's just regular guard. Let's have you guard and bewitch. And clown, let's have you attack um, the tree, I think. Unfortunately, I think you guys are kind of at odds as well. I think Iron hurts Petra, maybe. I could push. Would that be useful for anything? I mean, it could be useful. Because Crystal hurts Iron Guy, but Iron Guy also hurts Crystal, so that would be pushing him into attacking her, which is maybe not the right way. Does Petra hurt Iron Man more than Petra hurts Crystal Fellow? Um, let's assume that you hurt Crystal Guy. And let's do far attacks. Okay, we got this Bewitched Field here. Um, I'd like to throw out the Bewitched Field again. Um, but you can't do that right now, so let's not worry about that. Um, so yeah, I can do a Volt, but I don't want to swap her in maybe just yet. Or maybe I do. I mean, we'll have to take a hit no matter what, right? I think we have to take a couple hits, unfortunately, no matter what. Should I swap? Let's, um... Uh... Let's swap. Could set out a bewitched field on um, the enemy, which is probably what I should be doing, but I'm not. So, explosive balloon. We could set up a sucker punch. We could set up. Let's just do regular attacks. Alright, unfortunately we haven't really touched um, Mr. Iron Giant here. <laughs> he still has full health. Um,
I... Crystal does not hurt this crystal guy very well, but he does hurt, she does hurt Iron Giant. So let's do a far attack over there. If I could set up a static field, that will hurt him over time. You, I would like you to throw down your bewitched field, please. You're going to get hurt quite badly. Um, Clown doesn't really hurt. Uh, Clown doesn't really hurt fire at all. So what I might want to do, honestly, is set up a bit of a concentrate. And then what if I swap? Um, yeah, what if I swap and bring Clown in over here? And by swapping... I mean, I could just guard and swap. Should I have guarded with uh, you? Uh, let's just swap. Let's just let's just switch up and see what happens. There you go. I should have guarded and swapped. Apparently, if that would have worked first, I don't know the priority levels. Okay, so you, let's go ahead and do a far attack on the Iron Giant, man. You have only a fire attack, which I, mean, I don't appreciate that. But I don't want to swap your strengths and weaknesses because we have Petra set up to hit you, so... I will go ahead and hit you once, just with a regular attack. I think this guy will be dead with one hit here. So we'll do a far attack over here and a near attack here. And let's do a far attack here. I mean, I can set out a rocky field, but that's not really necessary. Okay, so he's dead. The only one left is uh, is the fire maiden over here. Um, in which case, I think we're good. Hopefully, because we've got the bewitching field. Let's just um, let's concentrate. Well, concentrate and inspire cost one energy. So let's just regular concentrate. Do a near attack. It's not really going to hurt. You, let's just have you concentrate, I guess. And then let's have you do a far attack. Alright, um... Let's have you defend so you keep your... Your... Thing. Actually, should I do that? Should I defend? I mean, because if we beat this lady and then we're suddenly in the next round, um, we might need to defend then, so let's... Mm, let's defend anyways. Let's guard. I think it's kind of maybe a, a silly idea, but let's do it. Your army is no more. Come back and face me, coward. All right, here he comes. All right, yeah, so now let's just throw in all of our attacks.
You are ignorant. You know nothing of this world. Yeah, so you're gonna say that it's not rotten because if it was rotten, I wouldn't have lived this long. You already said this. I have not ruined any lives. You suck. Um, <laughs> let's throw out the Communist Manifesto again here. We call the fascist. And he says fascism and communism is the same thing. Talk, talk, all he does is talk. You know, men like this always think they're so interesting. Like any thought they've ever had is so important that the whole world has to hear it. If only they could hear themselves, they'd realize how obnoxious they are. But they never listen, only talk. I feel like there is something strangely ironic about what I just said. Yes, because you only talk. Alright, so, um... Don't think he attacks anybody. You know what I have lost? Not the suffering I have faced, enough punishment for what you're accusing me of. What have you lost, by the way? What did you lose? I don't know. I don't know what you've lost. Um, I'm here to end your suffering. Her determination reminds me of her. I remember when she told me she had found you. I was against adoption, but I understood you, you were important to her. So I allowed it. Then. So many memories, my head. Don't look at me. Okay, so now he swaps to this. Okay, so this is about as far as we got last time. Quit running away. Okay, so now we have new things to think about. Um, I still have a pen ready. Fire, I know this is bad. Fire and, uh, and clown is bad, so I want to swap that if I can. What about fire and crystal? Does it, if I yoink this, if I move these guys in place, is that better for me? Let's, uh, let's try that. So I think I probably want to hit... The clown will hit the tree. Let's throw out a bolt, or let's throw out just a regular far attack I made. Let's throw down a, uh, bewitched field. Actually, you know what, I don't like... Don't like uh, you being at two energy, to be honest with you. So let me throw down a concentrate and inspire. Maybe I'll give you some energy. Let's throw down a guard and bewitch self. Let me do a yoink and see if I can pull you back. And I don't know what to do here. <laughs> um, do I attack the... Do I attack the mermaid? Or do I go all in against uh, the crystal boy? Let's, um... Let's hit the crystal guy. I haven't written this down about what Petra does to crystal man. They've swapped. Okay, that's bad. So, water hurts Petra pretty drastically, but either way, this is kind of bad. Um, unless I push you. If I could push you, then maybe you're getting hit by Crystal, dude. Does Crystal hurt? Let, let me let me write let me write this down. Let me write. Um, Mermaid greater than Petra. That way I'll remember, maybe. Um will you attack Fire Lady. Well, let's double attack Fire Lady. Um Let's attack here. I know you're strong against the tree. 
So I can just do a attack against the tree. And what if I were to set up a push to push the uh, mermaid away? Okay, I should not be attacking fire. So, my grand plan is not great. Fire, greater. Then crystal, by the way, so this is a bad setup for me. Yeah, you are stunned. Um. Yeah, that's bad. I think I probably need to use your cry to stop this. Well, I mean, if I do that... I'm kind of trading off one against the other, though, aren't I? Because um, I'll use your cry to stop them from hitting Petra. Um... You're just going to be stunned next turn, and they'll just hit you again, so... Probably a bad choice. I would love to do... a defend. So what about this? Hmm, I'm gonna get hit anyways. What if I do this? What if I do a... Volt, and swap places? do it on the tree. I don't think it's going to help, though. And for you, if I can set up your bewitched field, you should attack the tree. I didn't want... I thought the swapping might happen first. Ouch. Okay. So... It's, um, crystal greater than mermaid. It's not this time because of the field. I kind of screwed myself in, so... I feel like this is uh, another losing battle. Alright, um... So we might get a little further? I don't know. Let's set up a static field on Mermaid. for funsy actually that's probably that's bad um because i'm gonna get stunned to heck um i mean you're already set up for fire so this is not great there's nothing i can do about it fortunately clown's not going to do much damage against the fire version I need to swap uh, Petra back. Yeah, go ahead and set up a... Uh... Well... I could yoink, but that's... Not great. I mean, maybe it is, huh? actually. Go ahead and yoink her away from Bunny Girl. And, um. I mean, is there any reason to protect here? No, I, I'll just swap. Alright, you're stunned, but now you can't get hit. So... Yeah, here goes my third... Here goes my three stars. Did I not set up a field on you? I guess I didn't because of the energy situation. Well, I'm going to get stunned here, which is a bad idea, but... Wouldn't do that. Um, don't remember, I didn't write down who... You were strong against Clown Man. Mm -hmm. 
in this instance, so let's just do a, uh, a regular attack. And by regular attack, I mean a near attack. The clown is greater than the crystal guy. So we're stunned here, um, which is a bad idea, but we can waste Bunny Girl's points, because if she gets stunned next turn, that doesn't really matter. Um, we'll do a Desperate Cry. That'll save Crystal. Bunny Girl is in fact stunned. All right, everything's down to just poor mermaid. I mean, nothing I can really do here. I would like you to go ahead and concentrate, maybe to get your energy up, uh, Clown Man. Actually, yeah, that's fine. I just want to be alone. Why won't you leave me alone? I'm not leaving you until I'm done with you. No more talking then. Let's just finish it. Okay. Oh, he doesn't have his field Luke. anymore. He's no longer protected by the sea. Yeah, I, I have already seen that. It's almost as if he wants to lose. How convenient for us. He wants to lose, you say. Well, let's see what happens. Oh yeah, he's weak against everything we're throwing at him. Now he's stunned, so we should just go all out. I think this is not as easy as it seems, though. Hmm, he doesn't have his field anymore. That's interesting. I thought he might get his field back. Like, he really wants to lose? What was that about she wanted to adopt you? Like... He's not our dad, is he? I mean... I think he's toast here. Should we defeat him? Well, I guess that was it. And so my story ends. Be honest, I've longed for this day. Or release. You are a good man. How could you fall so low? I always had a mind for business. But when my wife fell ill, the only potent the only thing potent enough to fill the hole inside me was accumulating wealth. At least so I thought. When she passed, business momentarily numbered the or numbed the loneliness. But as I returned home after a day's work, I found myself desperately cut off. From everything meaningful, unable to cope with the situation. I tried to escape it by working even more. In doing so, I neglected the person who needed me most. Is he... like... Is he our dad? Our adopted dad? He must have wandered the earth so lost, so lonely. No, he! Who is he? Are you the dad of the eagle? Who is he until he found you? Are you the dad of the... I'm really confused. Are you the dad of the, the... The ringleader? You know, you remind me of her. I don't blame you for how it ended. But know that he is not evil. It's not easy for a boy to lose his mother. 
So what, I have no parents? Yes, but you are stronger than he ever will be. You must be talking about evil. I know it doesn't show, but he has a faint heart. You got that from me. Crystal, let me give you one final warning. There's nothing but misery at the end of your road. Your success will be your downfall. When there is nothing but sky and stars above your head, not even a glass ceiling to protect you, the loftiness will consume and corrupt you. See what become became of me. So, saying that power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. I'll never become like you. You were you were corrupted because you're weak. I'll prove you wrong. I'll never become like you. I hope you're right. Now, will you do me a favor and please finish me? So I can be reunited with my love. Don't chicken out this time. Make him bleed. Look, um... The fact that the voice wants me to kill him... No. That's not what we're doing. The voice is evil. You shall live and atone for your mistakes. But we know that when we try to let him live, the eagle will probably kill him anyways. Achievement unlocked. Anti-capitalist. Another earthquake! The factory is going to collapse! I don't like that you keep doing this. Come on. What's the harm? You want this place gone anyway. Stop doing things on your own initiative. I'm the one in charge. It's not the time for weird monologues, Crystal. We have to get out of here now. Too late, we're trapped. She's trapped, not us. We'll just leap over the fissure. So you're saying that we have wings and we can just fly over the crack and we can just leave all our friends behind because our friends can't fly. But that's not very nice. Let me be your bridge. It's too dangerous. We're heavy. What if you lose the grip? You're the only heavy one here, burly girl. Let me do this. Let me be brave for once. We all know how this is going to end. He's going to fall in the crack. Just grab him. I mean, at that point, you could just grab his hands. Ah! Run now! Alright, well, we've lost the clown now. He's gone. He saved you. We must find his daughter and tell her how courageous he was. Maybe later. Really? Who cares? His daughter already thinks he's dead. You okay? Well, I don't know why she's so smiley when our friend just died, but sure. Good. Two down. One to go. Our next stop is the church. Uh, the boy is here? Crystal? Crystal, wake up! It won't be much further now. As if the boy were psychic, the track began to slow down. The town is big. You know that, right? Crystal was still waking up and scratched her eyes. Uh-huh. In case we get separated, let's regroup outside the church. It's on the east side of the bridge. Hmm, okay. But don't leave me, please. I won't, but it's good to have a backup plan. The truck stopped, and the driver got out and started a conversation with someone. Crystal peeked through the gap in the tailgate and saw two men. The driver was the businessman from the orphanage. His companion was a large man dressed in a white robe. Got to be the priest or the whatever. Stay quiet. Under his wing. Yes, yes. May his beak guide us and all that. Let's get on with it. Right. Do so you have a shipment for me? Yes, 348 pairs of shoes, to be exact. The woman in charge of the orphanage messed up and lost two pairs. Let me assure you, she has been punished. Couldn't care less about that. So the price is one shilling a pair. Yes, I... I need to be firm on that, I'm afraid. No room for negotiation. But they cost hardly one-tenth to produce. True. But a man needs to make a living. Ha. 
man needs to make a living. I like that. You're already one of the richest men in the country. Anyway, so these shoes are made by children? Yes. Mm, their small hands are well suited for such labor. I wonder, would they be available for other jobs? Let's not even comment about that. What's on your mind? I don't know, massage my feet. Use your imagination. Uh, yeah, let's, let's not even talk about that. No, but seriously, the church is big and I'm a lonely man. I could use some company. Again, I'm gonna just ignore this. Will you sell me one? The law forbids buying and selling children. Hypocrite, you practically bought the children when you acquired the orphanage. Yes, but the law... Oh, shut up about the law already. You and I are above it. Besides, I'm sure they'd be happy to escape the hellhole you keep them in. All those shoe-making chemicals can't be good for them. You know, I'd take good care of them. Well, color me surprised. Here I am, thinking you'd be the one to recognize a business opportunity when it slaps you in the face. Come on, name your price. You're right, everything has its price. I just wanted to make sure you were serious. For 2,000 shillings, any of the children is yours. That would compensate for my loss of production. Oh, uh, he's gonna want the red-haired girl. 2,000 shilling? I told you it would be expensive. Maybe you'll find a cheaper way to deal with your loneliness. I'm just pulling your leg. 2,000 shilling is nothing. I'm selling these shoes at five shilling a piece. Not to mention the amount of people donate to the church. You included. I thought these shoes were for the poor. They are. Mostly beggars and homeless people buy them. But hey, a man needs to make a living, am I right? We're not too unlike you and I. You make me look like an amateur. So, send over one of the kids next time, or actually make it two. Girls or boys, I don't discriminate. Right. So, I hear you're building a new factory. Yes, where the circus used to be. So the useless sheriff finally managed to get rid of the freaks? The sheriff has the circus folks in custody, but we don't know what to do with them yet. You should just put them out of their misery. They don't belong in this world. Yep. <laughs> what was that? Don't tell me you've already got the, ch the kids in the truck. That would be Christmas in summer. The boy pushed Crystal behind one of the crates. When the men opened the tailgate, they saw only him. The hell are you doing here? The businessman grabbed hold of the boy and pulled him away from the vehicle. Crystal waited until she was certain the two men were gone before she jumped out of the truck. I hope the boy is alright. Remember, we're supposed to meet at the church over the East Bridge. He's strong. I'm sure he can escape them. He said to meet up outside the church if anything happened. Chapter 5. The Town. All right, um, there's a lady here with like some figurines, but let's go ahead and uh, we probably should save and end and end the game. So thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it and hope to see you again next time.